Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Ducati's CEO Gigi Dolligner reflects on a triumphant weekend for Ducati at the British Grand Prix. With five Ducati bikes finishing in the top five and the team's continued dominance in the championship, Dolligner discusses the impressive performances of their riders and offers insights into the challenges faced during the event. Ducati is set to continue refining its GP23 motorcycle throughout the remainder of the 2024 MotoGP season, even as its new GP24 model has already demonstrated significant improvements. This decision by Ducati's general manager, Gigi Dolligna, could offer a crucial boost to riders like Marc Marquez, who are competing with the older model but remain in contention for the championship. Jorge Martin, who finished second at Silverstone, reflects on his race performance and discusses the challenges posed by his Ducati teammates, Peko Bagnaia and Inia Bastianini. Martin also shares his thoughts on Bastianini's potential and his anticipation for the upcoming Austrian Grand Prix. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Ducati demonstrated their formidable presence at Silverstone, achieving a remarkable feat with five bikes finishing in the top five and all eight in the top ten. This performance underscores Ducati's strength in the current MotoGP season. Dolligna highlighted the significance of this success and expressed enthusiasm for the remainder of the championship. At the halfway point of the championship, we have achieved our ninth win of the season out of ten races contested. This continues our streak with an all-Ducati podium for the seventh consecutive time. Additionally, five Ducatis finished in the top five positions, with all eight bikes in the top ten. These are special numbers for a special victory. Quote from Gigi Dolligna. Dolligna also emphasized the importance of the team's performance in the context of the ongoing championship. He looks forward to the rest of the season with optimism and readiness for the upcoming challenges. We are only halfway through the championship, and there is still much to look forward to. We are ready to continue this exciting adventure and face the challenges that lie ahead, for both us and our competitors. Inia Bastianini stole the show at Silverstone with his remarkable double victory. Dolligna praised Bastianini for his exceptional performance, noting how he excelled in both the sprint race and the main race. Bastianini's performance was particularly notable given the competitiveness of the circuit. Inia Bastianini dazzled this weekend, especially on a circuit where our rivals were very competitive. He demonstrated that he had more than everyone else, with an aggressive and determined approach. His excellent qualifying and relentless pace allowed him to lead the race effectively and secure a fabulous double win. Dolligna commended Bastianini for his ability to manage technical and racing resources with precision and talent, underscoring his high level of preparation and execution throughout the weekend. Inia showed extraordinary skill, managing to impose a relentless pace and make significant comebacks. His performance confirmed his qualities and preparation, making the weekend a celebration of his talent. Jorge Martin and Peko Banyaya also delivered strong performances at Silverstone. Martin secured podium finishes in both races, regaining the lead in the World Championship. Dolligna acknowledged Martin's strategy and resilience, noting the importance of finishing strong despite the pressure. Jorge Martin had a very good race, understanding what was required to finish strong despite his desire to win. His performance, coming off an accident in Germany, allowed him to reclaim the lead in the World Championship. Peko Banyaya faced challenges during the weekend, including a crash in the sprint race. However, Dolligna praised Banyaya for his cautious yet effective performance on Sunday, where he finished in third place. For Peko Banyaya, it was crucial to limit the damage by finishing the GP in third place after a difficult sprint race. He showed great authority in leading the race at times and made strategic decisions to manage his position effectively. Marc Marquez, despite a crash on Saturday, managed to secure a commendable fourth place on Sunday. Dolligna acknowledged Marquez's resilience and ability to recover from a challenging weekend. 
Mark Marquez also had a challenging weekend but managed to achieve a very good fourth place after a complicated Friday and a fall on Saturday. His performance on Sunday was impressive given the circumstances. Concluded from Gigi Daligna. Gigi Daligna's analysis of the British Grand Prix highlights Ducati's continued excellence and the standout performances of their riders. With a dominant showing at Silverstone and strong results from both seasoned and emerging talents, Ducati remains a formidable force in the MotoGP Championship. Stay tuned for further updates and insights as the season progresses. At the British Grand Prix, Ducati's new GP24 demonstrated its superiority, with the top three positions in both the sprint and main races occupied by GP24 bikes. Despite this clear advancement, Ducati is committed to continuing the development of the GP23 for the remainder of the season. Daligna emphasizes that improvements will be made wherever possible to enhance the performance of the older model. As always, we try to work on the problems, and I think we have done a good job. We have definitely improved the GP24 in the aspects in which the GP23 was a little weaker. It has been noticed here, at Silverstone, but also on other circuits. So what can be improved on the GP23, we will do it, and we will continue to do it for the rest of the year. Quote from Gigi Daligna. Daligna acknowledges that while the GP24 has made clear gains, the team remains dedicated to optimizing the GP23, ensuring that all Ducati bikes remain competitive. Mark Marquez, who finished fourth at Silverstone, has been leveraging his GP23 bike effectively, despite the clear advantages of the GP24 for his competitors. With the championship lead currently held by Jorge Martin and Inia Bastianini, both of whom will be leaving Ducati at the end of the season, Marquez's position as a GP23 rider could be enhanced by the ongoing developments to his bike. Even when I manage to get the setup right to fight at the front, I'm doing so on the limit. It's clear that the GP24 is showing gains at certain tracks, but we will see how the improvements to the GP23 help us in the title race. Quote from Mark Marquez. Daligna's commitment to improving the GP23 comes at a strategic time with Marquez currently sitting 62 points off the championship lead. The enhanced performance of the GP23 could provide Marquez with a vital edge as he aims to close the gap, with both Jorge Martin and Inia Bastianini moving to new teams for the 2025 season. Ducati faces a dilemma in supporting its departing riders while also maximizing the potential of its current lineup. The focus on enhancing the GP23 could disrupt the dominance of the GP24 riders and alter the dynamics of the championship battle. From the moment Martin signed for Aprilia, it seemed unlikely that Ducati would fully support him. Now, with Bastianini also showing strong performances, our focus on improving the GP23 might help break up the GP24 battle at the front. Quote from Gigi Daligna. Daligna's strategy highlights Ducati's efforts to balance support between current and departing riders while aiming to maintain a competitive edge throughout the season. The improvements to the GP23 could play a key role in shaping the championship outcome as the season progresses. Ducati's dedication to refining the GP23 and its strategic approach to the championship underscore the competitive nature of the 2024 MotoGP season. As Marc Marquez and other GP23 riders benefit from these enhancements, the championship battle is set to intensify. Stay tuned for more updates as the season unfolds and the race for the title continues. Jorge Martin had a competitive race at Silverstone, leading briefly but ultimately finishing behind Inia Bastianini. Martin recaps the intense battle and the strategic management required during the race. It was one of the most complicated races of the year in terms of management. I tried to set a very strong pace, but he near arrived, and he was much stronger. Quote from Jorge Martin. Martin acknowledges Bastianini's strength but also points out areas for improvement. He believes that if Bastianini can enhance his performance in the initial laps, he will become an even more formidable competitor. 
If he manages to improve that, his weak point, it's clear that he'll take a big step. He's a strong rival, and we're counting on him for the championship, for sure. Martin expresses excitement for the upcoming Austrian Grand Prix, highlighting his affinity for the track and his desire to build on his performance at Silverstone. He also reflects on his resilience after the German Grand Prix. I'm really looking forward to Austria. I think I did the best race I could at Silverstone. I'm not 100% with the front end this weekend, but I'll work to improve in Austria," Martin added. Jorge Martin's performance at Silverstone and his analysis of his rivals reflect a competitive spirit and strategic mindset. As he prepares for the Austrian Grand Prix, Martin is focused on refining his skills and making the most of his opportunities. Stay tuned for more updates as the MotoGP season continues. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.